Hello lovers, I am always telling you to spend time revising, um, especially if you're an A-level student, it's basically an hour's independent study or revision for every hour of contact time that you have. And if you're a GCSE student, then well, you just get given time to revise or rev go and revise at home. But how do you actually spend that time revising? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna break down three different ways that you can spend an hour revising um, and then we can put it into practice. So I've said spend an hour revising. It is actually three sets of 20 minute chunks with a little break in between. So three sets of 19, 18 minute chunks with a tiny break in between to go to the toilet, go and get a cup of tea, go and do something else. Do not sit at your desk for an hour just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Occasionally you will have to do that if you're doing like a practice essay or a practice exam paper, but on the whole generally I don't want you to just be sitting at your desk revising, writing the whole time. I'm gonna take you through three different ways that you can break up an hour to really, really get the most out of your time, to really get the most out of your revision or your studying. So the first way is going to be one I covered in much more detail in my how to do independent study video. And it's basically gonna be looking at the notes that you made in class, spending 20 minutes writing up the notes of a lesson that you had within the week. So you have a lesson and then say first 20 minutes, your hour at the weekend, you're writing up those notes in neat. Adding in examples where you can, sorting out your keywords, potentially making flashcards. We're not doing a huge amount of thinking in this, it's more an organising, it's more of a sorting out kind of thing. It's very low key, very low price, not a lot of high pressure work going on here. It's copying up your notes, making sure they're perfect, making sure the keywords stand out and adding in examples. And then go and have a little break. And then for the next section, the next 18, 19, 20 minute section, we're gonna be looking at this sort of work, but the work that we did previously. So work from about a month ago and we're going to be looking at some worked examples. So if you added in some maths questions with worked examples when you're writing up your notes, cover up the answer, put a bit of paper over those answers and then try and answer them again. Try and do some short retrieval questions. So look at your notes for a couple of minutes on a completely different topic to the ones we spent the first 20 minutes doing. It might be within the same subject, chemistry, or it might be a completely different subject. That's fine. Try and do some short retrieval questions. Things that, you know, are one, two word answers, one or two marks in the exams. But if we do these sort of things often, frequently, then it really will build up to a lot of knowledge. And then in this, the final 20 minutes, 18, 19, 20 minute section of this hour, try and do some more in depth things. So a topic that you did maybe three months ago that you've already written up the notes for, that you've already done the short retrieval questions for, try to do some exam questions based around this topic. So when you find an exam question based around the topic that you're working on, print off two or three copies of that paper and the mark scheme and file them away neatly in your folders. So that you can do them once, mark them, look at the mark scheme, see where you can improve and then go back and do them again. So that's the first way that we can break up an hour. Spend 20 minutes doing a first review of a subject, making notes. 20 minutes doing a second review of a subject, some short, low stakes retrieval questions, multiple choice questions. And then 20 minutes doing a third review of a subject with some more in-depth, longer questions and some exam style questions. Now the second way we can spend an hour revising is picking one topic or one unit and studying it in depth for an hour. But I'm not saying we sit there doing the same thing for a whole hour. 
So pick a topic or a unit and then spend the first 20 minutes making sure you've got really, really good notes on this. So looking at the checklist to make sure you've covered everything in your notes, looking at the whole topic videos or your vision guides to make sure that your notes are really, really good, that you've got lots of worked examples in there that you know exactly what all of the key words mean. Then on exactly the same topic, and remember this is a revision, not a test, so please have all of your notes open on the desk in front of you. Find some retrieval questions to do. So multiple choice questions are the thing that I absolutely love for this, which is why I've written you so many over my website. They're all there, quick and easy for you to go and do. On exactly the same topic, try and do some multiple choice questions and you know, we've just made notes on this topic. I'm not expecting you to get everything right. But look at the ones that you got wrong. Make sure the ones that you got wrong correspond with your notes. So maybe you've written down something wrong in your notes. But then do it again and try and get them all right this time. There might be, if you picked a whole unit, five or six quizzes, five or six sets of multiple choice questions that you can do all around this one topic or this one unit that you're doing. And then for the final 20 minutes of this hour, after you've had a little break, go grab yourself a drink, go to the toilet, run down a few times, do some longer questions, some essay style questions, some six mark questions, or some like exam paper questions all around exactly the same topic. So you might need to spend about 10 minutes preparing everything, getting everything ready, like before your hours studying, making sure you've printed off all the relevant um, exam paper questions, but then, with all of your notes spread out in front of you, with the quick revision you just did with multiple choice questions on exactly the same topic, try and apply that to some exam style questions. So you're really spending an hour going deep on a topic, and then hopefully at the end of it, you'll come up with a much better understanding. So I would say that is what I call your in-depth revision. The third way you can spend an hour studying is by doing breadth revision. Now the difference between depth and breadth is depth we looked at one topic, breadth we're going to be looking at a lot of topics. So for your first 20 minutes it's going to be similar to the other one. I'm going to ask you to do some short low stakes retrieval style questions. Again I'm loving multiple choice questions for this but don't just stick to one topic this time. If we're doing um, chemistry for this revision, go and pick questions from lots of different topics. Now, the reason we do this is because this is what the exam is going to be like. You are not going to have an exam just purely on one unit. It is gonna be switching between topics, sometimes between questions, sometimes a single question can have lots of different topics all combined. You need to get used to combining knowledge from different topics and switching between topics really quickly which is why we need to practice doing this so spend the first 20 minutes doing some um, retrieval questions doing some multiple choice questions from lots of different topics spend the next 20 minutes looking at some flashcards flashcards are brilliant things to learn key words on or to learn definitions your units your equations um your new vocab that you need to i know for a level biology there is an insane amount of new words that you need to learn to help you with that i wrote them all in like a 300 page glossary for you but if you just start at A, you're going to cover lots and lots of different topics because not all the words, keywords in topic one start with A. The keywords that start with A are going to come from all of the different topics. So sitting there and working through your piles of flashcards, these are the ones I know really well, these are the ones I'm not very confident on, that is a brilliant way to do stuff, but is in a different style, different skills to the way we spent the first 20 minutes. So we are mixing things up between our 20 minutes in the style of revision that we're doing. And then for the last 20 minutes, we need to switch the gears to make it a little bit harder. So this is where we're gonna spend 20 minutes doing part of an exam paper. So you might only get like one or two questions done in that time, but within a question, say it has parts A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, you're gonna be covering lots of different topics there. Whereas in your depth revision, you might just do question two, part C. Here, you're gonna be doing question two, 
all of question two. So covering lots of different topics within that hour to get you used to the idea that in an exam, you're going to need to be pulling knowledge from all over the place to get your answers on the paper. So there you go, guys. Three different ways to spend an hour revising. First review of a subject, second review of a subject, third review of a subject, doing some in-depth revision, notes, short questions, and then long questions, or doing some broad breadth revision, so multiple choice questions, flashcards, and then sitting down with an exam paper. Um, I have loads and loads of resources on my website to help you do all of that. More exam papers than um, you can probably find. Um, multiple choice questions, checklists to make sure you've covered everything, flashcards to make sure that you get stuff right. Um, I'm here to help you every single step of the way, guys. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.